Paul Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. I'm leaving this uh, mammoth site museum. I'll tell you, this entire experience in South Dakota has just been really great. I never knew South Dakota had so much to offer and see. It's just been an amazing journey. Let's get in the van and get going. Downtown, all the architecture, all the old buildings. It was just like a sight out of the past. You could have taken a postcard picture anywhere you looked down there. All the shops, busy streets, and that uh, train depot uh, for uh, visitor center was cool. Then this mammoth site. You know, I read about it online. I had no clue what was going to get. I've been to a lot of museums. And on this trip, I've seen a lot of dinosaur uh, fossils and whatnot. But nothing like this. Just the building enclosure alone to protect this site was something to see. And the amount of bones and fossils in one area, it, uh, to me, just blew me away. I don't know. If you get in this neck of the woods, be sure to stop and see this thing. Uh, hopefully they'll keep it going for many, many uh, decades or whatever for other ones to see, for the young ones. But I've never seen anything like that in my life. Really, really cool. Can't forget the memorial at Bell Porsche. That was cool. Center of the Nations or USA. Good old Sturgis. <laughs> the National Cemetery. Very moving to be there. Definitely going to go back and check that out. And of course, kickstands. All the days I spent there filming. I met so many people. It was just a great honor. And I'll never forget the bus. <laughs> that was cool. Just to ride the bus is worth coming here. <laughs> then the rally itself. I mean, I've never, I've seen pictures and videos, but to get to experience, it was a once in a lifetime thing. And to see Mount Rushmore in person, that was uh, extremely powerful. Very powerful place. Must see. Easy Horse, yeah, it was kind of disappointing, but it's also unique. It's still worth stopping, in my opinion. Right, we're heading out of here. This, we're leaving the Mammoth site. We're heading to Nebraska now. It's getting mid-afternoon. And I'm getting a little tired. I'm going to go find me a place to rest tonight. But I want to get over to Nebraska. It's really not that far. I think it's like 40-some miles. We're at the uh, end of Hot Springs here. Junction of 18 and 385. Then according to Google Maps on my phone, I gotta make a right. And we're gonna say so long, Hot Springs. What a neat place. You know you always say oh, I'll come back. Well this is a definite one to come back to. Just like the Salmon River in Idaho. I'll remember this one for a long time. Okay, let's go get on the highway and head to Nebraska. Okay, we want to stay, yep, 18 and 385 south, that's what we're going to take, but I see a gas station, I'm going to fill up, and take a break a second. Get pulled in here. 
Another Sinclair. Boy, that's a popular brand here. Coffee cup. Yeah, that sounds good, too. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, we're all fueled up. Gonna make a left here, and once again, that's 385 south and 18. I've never traveled these roads, so I have kind of no clue <laughs> where I'm at. I know where I'm at, but you know what I mean. Alright, looks like good road. No trees, look at that. It's really getting flat. We're out of the Black Hills now. And I can really feel the temperature picking up. I finally kicked on the AC, the dash AC here in the van. It's definitely warming up. Look how flat the landscape is too. Well, we don't have too much farther, just a few more miles. We'll be in Nebraska. Alrighty, we're getting close to the South Dakota-Nebraska state line. I do have plans for tomorrow's journey. We're going to see a national monument in Nebraska. We're going to stay right along the border of Wyoming and Nebraska too. Heading south. Okay, what's that? Looks like a way station or something. Aha, here we go. Alright. Hang on to your chairs. <laughs> Wait for it. Here we go. Here we go. There it is. There's a sign. Welcome to Nebraska, everyone. You did it. You did it. We did it. So long, South Dakota. Thank you. I'll be back. Okay, we're just going to go a few miles and then the road splits, then we're going to head west. Well, it is nothing but farmland as far as you can see. Really windy here too, it's shoving a van around. There goes bikers up to Sturgis. That was cool up there. Okay, here's the split. I want to stay to the right. Pretty sure, yep. We're gonna pick up 20. You know, we've been on 20 a couple times this summer. US 20 runs through a lot of different states. All right, we're gonna make a right up here, and start heading west. All righty, we're the goal. I got about another. 20 miles. Get to a little town named Crawford. There's some campgrounds there. I think a state park. And I'm done for the day. Um, a lot of miles. We did a lot of filming. What a unique rural area. Finally, a few trees. Yay. Look at this. Just nothing but farmland for as far as you can see. This is definitely small town, USA, small country USA, farmer land. They feed a lot of people here, I bet. I think they had some really bad floods in the spring here, too. Really uh, did some damage. Don't know. Okay, we should be almost up to uh, Crawford. Okay, we made it. Yay. There should be some campgrounds. I'm going to stop somewhere up here and uh, get some fuel. Figure out where the campgrounds are. Call it a day, a night. Okay, 
it looks like I'm gonna be making a right up here. Hopefully I find a gas station. I might have to cut back into this little town here. Crawford, Nebraska, go figure. Never plan on being in Crawford, Nebraska, but here I am. Here you are. Okay, what we got here? I see signs. Ah, perfect. Gas station. All right, let me pull in, figure out where I'm at. All right, perfect. I'm going to take 20 down to the campgrounds, but I'm coming back to the 71 in the morning. We're actually going to go to Scott's Bluff National Monument, and that's directly south, which would be that road dirt in front of us. But the campground's only a mile or two down this road. Hey, down description, there's all kinds of ways to help support the channel. Buy me a cup of coffee, click on Amazon links, shop, get t-shirts, coffee mugs, whatever. All right, the journey will continue tomorrow. Once again, we're going to Scott's Bluff National Monument. Talk soon.